Now to concerns about that increase in flu cases. Mm -hmm. It's happening here in the Bay Area and across the country. Yeah, ABC 7 News reporter Luz Pena spoke with specialists about why influenza is leading the number of infections that we're seeing. Luz? Dan and Kristen, doctors are still seeing COVID and RSV cases, but they're highlighting how fast influenza cases are increasing. According to the CDC, 16 states, including California, are reporting very high levels of flu-like activity. As COVID, RSV, and flu cases are surging throughout the country, UCSF's infectious disease specialist, Dr. Monica Gandhi, says influenza cases have reached a concerning point. I'm talking to the chest radiologist, I'm working in the hospital, very little severe COVID, but the flu is coming up and it's really raging, unfortunately. Throughout the pandemic, Dr. Gandhi tracked data from Europe to get a head start of what the U.S. could see in the coming weeks. She is doing the same with this surge. In Australia, we actually saw this happen in our summer, their winter, over our summer season, that they had high rates of influenza. In the U.K., which is really a herald for what happens here, there are higher rates of influenza in the ICU, higher rates of influenza mortality than COVID. We went to two emergency rooms in San Francisco to see what they're seeing firsthand at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital. Dr. Chris Caldwell says cases are fluctuating. There are days that we absolutely see more flu than, than anything else, and then the next day we might see more COVID. We're always seeing a fair amount of RSV. That's particularly in the kid. Are you at capacity? So we are at capacity in the sense that we are full and that we are having to hold some patients in the emergency department to wait to get admitted upstairs, but we also do have additional capacity to manage this. At UCSF, Parnassus campus, they're also at capacity but not overwhelmed. Today, they had more COVID cases. But we are also seeing some flu and it's starting to increase. I think we'll see, you know, as the trends continue, if we're going to see a, a huge spike in flu versus a huge spike in COVID and hopefully not both. The CDC is reporting more influenza cases earlier in the season than they've had in the last five seasons. But what's leading this? It's because probably what's called viral interference happened as COVID comes down, as our immunity comes up to COVID, the other viruses come in to fill this vacuum. And so we're seeing a lot of influenza, a lot of RSV. Now all three doctors agreed. And what is different about influenza this time around is that it normally peaks in January and February, but now we're seeing an increase in cases in November. They're encouraging the public to get a flu shot now before any upcoming family gatherings in the coming weeks. In the newsroom, Luz Peña, ABC 7 News.